Yo! Video games. Gold X is a piece of shit. It was dope, man. He had like all the moves and uh, was damn near invincible. Pretty cool. Yeah, well, you think green nipples look cool on my boss. Uh, just on zero. Shut your face. Doesn't matter if it it's fits. on. It fits. It fits. Zero X or Barack Hussein Obama. Green tits don't look cool. They're fucking awesome. If, if Zero was a girl, would it look cool? No. It's all about aesthetics, Simmons. Yeah, I know about that. Well, yeah, that's our point. And, it's, and it works. No, it doesn't. X5 sucks, though. Uh, I, I, I X5 can't. is awful. Uh, I can't you know, even. X5 is better than X6. We never even played X6, though. <gasps> but it's supposedly it's like the worst. Isn't that where they gave Sigma like the, the fucking. No, they gave. Well, they constantly give Mega Man the high pitched voice, but they gave uh, Sigma like his stupid fucking bad guy voice. I'm gonna get you, X, yeah! I was like, oh, God. Nothing beats Sigma's fucking voice in Marvel Infinite. Not, not yet. Not well. It's like the best Sigma ever. I, 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 if, you, if you played the PSP version, uh, which was like a remake of part one. Um, it wasn't a remake of part one, it was just they, they like, they kind of upgraded. Yeah, it was a remake. It was a remake? It was okay. It yeah. Was it was fully polygonal. Yeah, yeah. Um, that one had the best Sigma voice. It also had the best X voice. Fucking flies. Uh, I have to check that out. Fucking flies. I mean, I got a PSP. Do you need some PSP? Uh, you don't need it. You just play it on a PSP emulator. Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck. You got emulator. You got original. More PSTV. I'll play it at 1080p. PS what? PSTV. PSTV? PSTV. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, like. Um, thank you. Kron is the greatest hero we deserve, not that we need. Mega Man Lego set. Ooh, that's not cool. Command missions, I really wish I, I actually learned, like... Oh, man, I've, I've tried watching people play that game. Holy is shit. Is it rough? It is just, it is rough, yeah. dude. <laughs> I, I mean, the Breath characters are like the, no, the, style, the, the style of Mega Man X and all that stuff looked really it's interesting. It's just like needlessly complicated. Is it? Yeah. Um, I mean, it, once again, RPGs kind of... Like JRPG. Yeah, RPGs kind of make me like, like, oh man, do I really want to spend this much time on this game? But That's Steve, I mean. you RPG. love story! The story! Only, the only RPG you ever beat in Steve is like the Chrono Trigger. Good trigger, yeah. Um, the only one. And uh, Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana was really cool. Did you play it or did you beat it? I beat it. I beat Super Mana way back in the day. That was right around the same time era. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Super only... Mana, the one that's getting a big ass HD remake. Oh yeah. shit! Really? Yeah. What the fuck is that getting HD remake? and not Chrono Trigger? What the shit is that, dude? dude really good reasons. That oh yeah. Never understand. Yeah. Understanding. <laughs> yeah. Reasons that's like, hey, so how come that one's getting reasons? Thanks, developer. Yeah, I like story, guys, but not a long, convoluted story where it has, like, a backstory for every fucking character. And you have to wait fucking, like, every single five, like, hours just to get through a backstory just so you can go back to the main story of every character. That is nightmarish. This is why I didn't watch, uh, uh, not Yu-Gi-Oh, what was the other guy? Um, Naruto. I didn't watch Naruto because every fucking character had a long-winded backstory and it deviated from the main story, which is what I wanted them to get to in the first place. I'm like, fuck! Fuck! I don't care! I mean, Naruto, like, is, is great because it's like, it's not anime because it's actually good. It's the best. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Here it bros, the chaotic. Thank you, dude. A troll level back, please. The journey of Goku and his brother, Spike Spiegel, in Naruto is amazing. Yep. It'll never get old. You mean like Metal Gear Solid? Well, Metal Gear Solid, well... I don't know why, but Metal Gear Solid did it right, though. But at least they, the stories were interesting. Especially with that, what's that, Doc, uh, the octopus guy? Like, he would give you his life story, but it was fucking interesting. And then he would trick you. I watched a lot of, I actually watched a pretty good amount of episodes of Naruto. Same thing with, um... Uh, God, what is that kid with the pirate arms and he stretches and shit? One Piece! One Piece! I used to watch the shit on One Piece too. Now every time One Piece, I, I watch, but 
The backstory just got way too long for me, and I just lost it. Just... Gotta go, die, go. Gotta go, <laughs> name it, what name? <laughs> Lamb of the Judge of the Grand Nine! Goddamn. Just tell for one piece! Yo, his name's Zolo. He's just like the samurai in an LAP. Why not? He's not shy. So, why? Why Hunter Nine? Thank you. Why am I here? That's the thing, that's the best thing about Anime Saturdays, is that it's the one place on Twitch and the entire internet that you could come to. For a little, for a few like hours, and then hang out with everyone that just likes the same thing you do. Do exactly. Now listen as I tell you why it fucking sucks. <laughs> as you break it down on why you shouldn't like that at all, <laughs> and why you should feel bad for liking this thing. <laughs> that's the one thing about opinions. You like this thing? You're a fucking cunt. Why the fuck do you like this shit? You're a terrible person. I don't care what you like. I don't like. I'm just saying. I just think the thing you like sucks. There you go. And then you will let them know in detail why it sucks and why they should feel bad for liking yeah. it. Well, no, you can like it. Just know that it sucks. <laughs> just don't ever talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me. <laughs> just don't ever talk about it or make me try to do it. <laughs> Don't force your opinions on us. We will like it, or we won't. Oh Jeez. God! Swing and a miss. Use that sword, you big fat bastard. Exactly like MVCI. There's a lot of people I didn't like it, and Max liked it. We yeah, liked it. The, 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 the thing I try to do the hardest with MPCI is that, man, I don't want to convince you to like it. Yeah. Like, I definitely don't want to try to convince you to go buy this game. Definitely don't. I'm just going to talk to the people that already like it. Yep. That's all I'm going to do. This is not many. <laughs> and when you give your opinion on why Max should like, hate it, you just be like, okay. I mean, there's not much he can do. He's like, hey, I like this aspect of it. And literally 90% of the people that didn't like it was because of the style that it looked. They yep, didn't like the way Bad graphics. Bad graphics in your roster. That was what everybody mostly complained about. And the roster too. That's and nobody say shit. I haven't heard one person say anything bad about the game. Though. Sorry for backseating. Don't, don't worry about it. I mean, unless it's a real problem, we'll say something. But in all honesty, if you guys are backseating like a lot of things, we just don't read it. We just read somebody else's comment. Usually, how it works. Reality Stone! Reality Stone! Yeah, reality Stone! He's saying what it really is. Jelly Stone! Ha! <laughs> he really sounds like he says that. Dude. Yeah, he says It really sounds like he says that. Jelly Stone! Jelly Stone! Jelly Stone! It was so awesome, and I gotta give a shout out to uh, Justin Wong for that. I was talking, we were talking to Justin Wong at fucking TwitchCon, and he was like, uh, so, I mean, how are you liking the game? He was like, dude, I'm loving it, I'm loving the new characters and stuff like that. And I asked him, I was like, what do you think of, uh, the Reality Stone oh, Reality Stone. He was and he was like, yeah, I'm Reality Stone, I spam the show all day. I was like, there you go, fuck! Yeah. And he was like, it's completely busted, it, it needs, it needs to, it needs to get toned down. I'm like, yep. They don't get toned down. But then why didn't they do it already? Like, like here's what they're here. That's what's so funny. Well, because they, they haven't actually done a balance patch yet. Wait, they, they fixed the mindset. Those were bug, fix, bug fixes. Like, it was it was something not intentional. And, like, uh, balance, balance is to take care of things that, okay, we we messed up and we want to try to fix this. Right. Bug fixes are completely unintentional. Right. Okay, yeah. this is going outside of our design. We need to fix this. This is causing a problem. Yeah, yeah. Like, Reality Stone, they designed it to be that way. So uh, that that for that kind of effect, that's a balance change. Yeah, I get that. Uh, C A A one one two. Thank you very much, man. Which is funny too, because um, uh, Spider Man got fixed pretty pretty. Uh, yeah, then that was an un that was unintentional. They exactly. actually it's it's a bug that you could recapture over and over and over and over again. There's no boss at the end of these levels. It's really weird. I just beat it. Was that, was that actually a like a boss? Yeah, like a regular they were, like, guy. Special. They had like extra health. What was wrong with the Mindstone? Uh, Max knew like he said. Mindstone like, had some unescapable setups. Yeah, it was like a grab loop. Which or... is what we all assumed would happen with Mindstone. 
But there were some setups where you could not get out of it. I'm still having trouble with uh, when you, uh, uh, they defeat one of your characters and a new character comes in. And they just, where, they don't jump in. They yeah, just go. go. They go right in and, and that's like, when they get fucking it's like hit. fucking that. Yeah, and I'm like, what am I supposed So you know what to you do? Uh, and I keep forgetting this and I get blown up on incoming. Yeah, yeah. I can't go to fucking sooner they get. I'm you like, have to fuck? hold forward. You have to hold like the direction. That makes no sense to I know, me. I know. My I know, brain I know. is like melting. I know. But if you hold forward, your character ends up mid screen. And you right. pretty much avoid any incoming mix up. Jesus, dude. So you said there's forward, there's holding back, and there's holding down? There's like several different areas you can actually make your character jump in. Jump in on it, okay. That's what fucks me up, man. I just wish MVCI wouldn't have been sold at $60 with at least $60 worth of DLC. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, I, I, will, I won't argue with you that the game is... Here's the thing. Yeah. Um, they need to start dropping the price of that game immediately so that people can start buying the DLC. Because so yeah, I actually get if, more. If you buy the DLC at 30 bucks and the game only costs you like 20, 20. 25 dollars, well then that means your total price is like not even 60 dollars, so you're okay. You, that, you have 36 out. characters of story mode online and all this shit. So as long as the core game starts going down in price, then I think it's more appealing towards a lot of people. Uh, I, uh, Imamanji, okay, I'll check my Twitter. Uh, um, I think, uh, the, the, I mean, Capcom and, and uh, Marvel are too, too pig-headed at this point. To, uh, I hope, dude, out. I hope after, uh, dude, if the game sells, like, seconds, if though. the game sells, like, less than 300,000 units in its first month, I hope them, I hope them being pig-headed yeah. quickly fucking goes, goes away, away. Yeah. So that they realize, wow. Like with Street Fighter V, we almost hit our sales mark and did did terrible things <laughs> with the launch of that game. Things. Like released it as a barely fucking ready game with such limited content it was insane. You guys were pretty ruthless on Ono for that one, dude. You guys are like I still am. You guys still I like still am. <laughs> like because they obviously didn't learn their lesson with Marvel Infinite. Like Marvel Infinite, sir. Well, here's the thing: they learned the lesson in certain ways, and then completely fucked up the complete other side of it, which yeah. is like presentation and and roster. And making all the characters that should have been in the game originally be DLC. It's like, well, guys, you fixed the problem, which is that you made the online run good. You made a whole bunch of single player content. You did add, you did fix the problems with Street Fighter V, which is content at launch. But then you added all these other problems. Yeah. It's like, can't you just fucking make it all good? <laughs> so that's that's the issue. Is that they they made issues for themselves. Make it work. Just make it work right. Just don't try to piss people off. Like, yeah. Take um, Dragon Ball as an example. Just try to make people happy. I mean, honestly, I don't think the whole Chun Li face thing was was intentional. I think they were just rushing stuff, and they're like, just yeah. put it out. We need it now. Send it out, and like, I guarantee you, there was like an artist in there that's like, but it looks terrible. I don't and know. they're like, and they're like, we, don't, 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 we just uh, need it out. I don't know how you look at it and be like, that looks fine. Right. Boogie, Boogie the Fourth. Fourth thank yeah. you, dude. I don't know how you looked at Dante's like original face and you're like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't. I don't know, man. It is... But here's the thing, is that there's several aspects of Marvel Infinite that are actually really good. But yeah. they all boil down to gameplay. They all boil down to, like, hardcore reasons. Yeah. And not surface-level things, because the surface level of that game kind of sucks. Like, I mean, I, I remember when I was playing, uh, or when I was uh, testing out uh, World at War, and there were fucking design flaws in there that all of us were saying. Like really good stuff. Yeah. yeah, and we were saying like, this is really bad. You definitely shouldn't play it. But they had reached an apex in the development of the thing. Development where, they don't where they're just like, we just need to get it out Absolutely. at this point. Yeah, so uh, I understand it at a certain level. You know what I mean? But that's the problem is that like, I, it's hard for me to ignore Marvel Infinite because it's my favorite fighting game series. It is my favorite fighting game series of all yeah. time. Okay, okay. The Versus series is my favorite. Yeah. And it's got... Some of the characters I've always wanted to be in Versus games. Of course! So I can't fucking... Strider is my favorite fighting game character of all time. And he is the best in Marvel Infinite, in my opinion. Maybe not the best, like, tier-wise? Yeah. But he's easily the most fun. Okay, I was gonna say, Absolutely like the most fun to play. It is, and, all, and the games where he's really good... Yo, DJ Rip, thank you, dude. And he's not as difficult as the other versions, huh? Uh, he's definitely more difficult. He's probably the, he's probably the second most difficult next to Marvel 3. But okay. the problem with Strider in every other game is that he's a gimmick character. Yeah. He relies on orbs, he relies on orbs, he relies on X-Factor. Yeah. That is 
That is his gimmick. And the orbs are nerfed. And now his orbs get nerfed, but yeah. they're not bad. They're actually still really good. Huh. Uh, they're just not incredible. Yeah. So, and the fact is that Strider's finally a well-rounded character that can do a whole bunch of crazy shit, and he is... For me, he's like, he makes the game. If Strider wasn't in Marvel Infinite, I wouldn't nearly be as interested. Yeah. Let's make the game, uh, let's make a good game and put a ton of barriers around it. Well, here's the thing. Like, yeah. it could have been, it could have been a situation where, if you look at the other spectrum of things, Marvel Infinite could have come out and looked goddamn incredible. It could and have been one of the play. greatest looking versus games ever. Yeah. And then the game runs at 30, 30 frames per second. Yeah. And the gameplay is like super bare bones. Yeah. Even Street Fighter V. Five. Five, yeah, yeah. People would have bought it. People absolutely would have bought it. It would have sold great. Probably hit its sales goals. No problem. Because the surface level looks really good. Yeah. However, when it boiled down, the reviews wouldn't have, wouldn't have been nearly as good. They probably would have gotten sixes instead of sevens and stuff. They got they mostly got sevens and eights on. At reviews. the point when it comes to a company, they don't care as long as the game. Sells. As long as the game sells, they would have been fine with it. But everyone that actually plays fighting games would have been super upset. Like, yeah. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, Even yeah. though the game would have sold better. So the idea is that with fighting games, it's a lesson that that we already knew. They have to look really good and they have to play really good. Yeah. They, they, they can't be one or the other because if one is missing than the other, you're either going to have a pissed off hardcore fan base or, or casuals. Or casuals not buying it because it looks bad like Marvel Infinite. And you know what? Every company wants casuals. Absolutely. They want because the that's casuals. sales. Yeah. That is, that is, that is, they're the ones sales. buying your game. And they, they weren't the people who would buy the DLC. That's what they want. And that's what they Casual. ended up going for in Marvel Infinite. Like with Marvel Infinite, they specifically took characters that were probably going to be in the game and made them DLC. DLC. So you can they, want, so. they want the White Whale. So right now they're going for like. Sure. That White Whale is the people who get fucking addicted and buy the DLC, buy like every piece of DLC. Which is what happened to Street Fighter V. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, honestly, outside of you know Ken's fucking face and everything like that, uh, it looks. Like, it looks Street like Fighter Five, I don't think, is a bad looking. Yeah, game it looks specifically. Good, yeah, yeah. It has an ugly art style on some characters on that some, I, yeah, that I very much characters. disagree with, but I think characters like Nash look friggin' awesome. Right. Yeah. I think, is all I think Chun Li too. looks fucking great. I think Cammy well, looks fucking great. Yeah. There's some aspects of that game. Dealing with. Akuma, despite of how you think of his hair, yeah, you I'm put you put like you put another costume on Akuma. He looks fucking right. Great. Give, give the original costume motion. Money There's money. aspects of it that actually do look really good. And um, the one where his face is all cracked. And yeah, I think that looks fucking great. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Akuma Matata is the best one. No, it's not. Awesome. I, but I do actually like Akuma Matata. I think it's an interesting redesign for Akuma. I don't hate it. I do not hate it. And hey, they're gonna get me to play Street Fighter V again. Other than just a big they live in the Adam Strider. Evil, evil, ma, uh, ma, evil Magic Man, uh, I agree. Uh, Akuma in Tekken 7 looks better. Uh, uh, yes, I mean, seven on a technical, so graphical <laughs> level, yes, he does. <laughs> but I actually like the art style. Like, Akuma like has be very... Design. If you look at Akuma without a shirt on in Tekken 7, you're like, well, that looks a little weird. His shoulders are all, like, fucking super... Like, well, he's, he's got, ripped, He's man. got Tekken shoulders, which all, for some reason, all Tekken characters have really wide White shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's because of how they're posed. Yeah. Uh, it, I don't think... He, I think he looks really good. I think he looks better yeah. than... Street Fighter V Akuma, but I like the art style in Street Fighter V Akuma more. And then uh, you and then you ruin him by putting a shower on his head. You know, I, li I like I like Lion Man Akuma. I don't I don't hate him. Yeah. I think that I think that was an out there thing to do, and I think I actually kind of like it. Uh, third Strike Akuma, perfect. Give him a nice it, white it's, streak. It's just it's, the same. It's, it's, it's the same. It's yeah. basic bitch. Yeah. yeah, it's the same design. Give him a white streak. Show he had that, that white streak. Show, show that he's too. getting older, and um, you know, give him the same type of uh, you know. Sure. Design and shit. Yeah. He didn't change it all, though. That's the thing. He doesn't have to. If, if, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Sure. But I like it when they mix it up and shit. Like Hot Ryu it's way better than God tier. Oh, God tier. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Hot, Hot Ryu is God tier. Everybody knows that. Uh, it's like one of the best design. Yeah, how are you? Of all the right I really wish that was the main design for you, and they were just too scared to go out there, you know? Yeah. I even like uh, Bison. Bison, he got older. His his uh, don't hair, look bad. his yeah. hair got grayer and stuff like that. They don't, they don't look bad. Uh, did you see one of his uh, Halloween alternates? The, the fucking giant demon. Oh, the uh, demon Bison. Yeah, I thought they looked pretty cool. Nuts, man. 
Like I said, good design. I mean, design wise, yeah. Gameplay. So, I don't. I don't think Three Hundred Five is a bad looking game specifically. I can't wait for the. But the, I, 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 I am not a big fan of the overall. Like, there's some art style play. things that bug me. Uh, uh, like the way the characters have their giant comical feet and giant comical hands and. Just so I thought much. that was more parkour than it is. Oh, uh, you need to look at that game, dude. Yeah. Every character's yeah, hands, big fucking hands, every character's uh, hands yeah. are like three times the size of their head. And that was a very specific thing I watched in like an interview that they did like a panel on or something oh, talking right. about why talking that about is it. because they're tell in fighting games. The feet and the hands are are tells. They, they are the things the characters will be battling with. Yeah. So they make them have big tells, literally big. So the hands are big, the feet are big. But I just don't think it looks. It just looks very weird. I, I, to me, it seems more apparent in Part Four. Uh, in Part Five, it's there. Now, but it's now not that I mentioned it, just like Zero's green tits, you'll notice it. Here. Look how giant the fucking hands are on characters like Colleen and stuff. Look how giant Zero's tits there. are. It, Fuck. Now, now that you know, you'll see it. <laughs> that goes next week. Yeah, Zeku yep. is coming up this week, actually. Winged. I'm gonna have to remake a new Street Fighter account to start all over again to relearn how to play that fucking game. You have to make a new account. Yeah, I can't. I can't start platinum, man. I'll get destroyed. Oh yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, how to yeah. play the game anymore. Yeah, I haven't played it in like even, that's eight the thing nine I couldn't stand. Um, even uh, in a uh, casual, you couldn't play any guys that are nope. like lesbian. You're forced to play people that are, are like fucking the same. Yeah, I'm like I'm playing I'm like, casual. So damn it, man. I don't. I don't I like play, play a new shit. character and and be at platinum with this new character. There's no yeah. fucking way. I, I hated that, dude. That that drove me nuts. It it deterred me from trying yeah, new characters yeah, yeah, except the, the for Ryu. Rankings Ryu. should be tied. Rankings and fighting games should, should be, be tied, tied to your character. To your character. Yes. yes. Absolutely. I, I totally agree. I, it would encourage me to play other characters. This is why I'm stuck on fucking yeah. low tier ass Ryu, dude. Butt ass Ryu because I I can't make a new account to uh, fucking play another character. It's it, it's too much of an asshole. Ze Zeku being Strider is getting me back in and playing the game. Yeah. That is doing it. But if, if he's not fun, then I'm not going to get You're not going to fuck with it? No. Really? If it, if it, I'm not, I'm not going to. From the game. There are way too many fighting games out there that are fun as fuck. Yeah. That I really enjoy playing. But from the, you know, videos that I've been seeing so far, I mean, they've been playing in East Coast. He might be really East Coast. Coast. Um, they've been fighting in the UK right now. Yeah. And, and, and he looks amazing. If it boils down, like, if his gameplay and the stuff he does doesn't look amazing and isn't really fun, then... It's not going to make me keep playing SF5. There's, there's, there's so many other fighting games that I find to be legit, goddamn awesome. And Salty like, Jitsu, thank you, dude. Right off the top of my head, KOF 14, Guilty Gear XR Rev 2, Tekken 7, and uh, Marvel Infinite. All games that are incredibly fucking fun to play. Yeah. As long as I'm not playing Viking. Ha! She drove me crazy, huh? She drove me crazy, man. <laughs> and it drove me crazy because she's. So cool. I love the character so much. Yeah. And it's just so fucking hard just getting having no defensive options. Uh, when you're getting rushed the fuck down and you can't do anything. You get hard. I same thing with my chip, have, man. I would have to play for like months. To actually That's be the open. same thing with fucking chip, man. You have I've been play. playing chip for like years. No no, but uh, me personally, the the thing is with chip is that you have to know the character in and out to the point where you sure. don't play any other fucking character. Sure. That is your character and that's only it. And I play other characters too. So it's kind of tough for me to really delve in the chip I that level. I think she'll get a buff in the next one. I, I, but I think I think buffing Viking is hard because I don't think she's bad. She just definitely requires a very heavy amount of familiarity with Guilty Gear. Yeah. Like Leo is a great example. Leo, you don't need to know matchups as much. You can actually get in and just start doing your thing with Leo, and you're good. Yeah. With Viking, you have to know how to play everyone. And oh, you're your matchups. You yeah. have to know matchups with Viking. Uh, but with Leo, you don't. You just do Leo's thing to everybody. You know, I was honestly, I, I, the, the last time I played uh, with uh, Burr Hermes and we were going in, um, there was this guy who did use Viking. Sure. And he understood when to do the counter attack. He knew exactly the matchups. Yeah, he knew the, the, the counter attack. So, it, like, and so even when you know, even when you know, yeah. she's still not going to be that good. She's still really not that good. She, she's an okay character. I don't think she's bad. She actually does have access to a lot of damage, but fuck. I love her, dude. I, I think she looks fucking amazing. That's why it hurt me so much where I was just like, I'm getting so frustrated playing this character that I just, I just want to play out. something else. Yeah, 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 to back out. Um, the thing with uh, Street Fighter, which I'm afraid of, is that even with Zeku and the gameplay being fun with the character, you don't like the system. No, I don't. You don't like the system Absolutely in general. Not. I mean, so, there's there's a very there's a very good chance that 
even I'm, if I'm, it, I, there's so much shit that's being added to SF5 that I kind of want to release. Yeah, do it. So is, is he gonna come with the upgrade? No, no, no update isn't coming for like three months. Exactly, coming out this week. Also, 2018. You have to wait like 2018 for the update. That's lame. Uh, and that, that's gonna be the next one I check the game out because I obviously want to go. I put a lot of time into Street Fighter V, even though it hasn't been over the past year. Yeah, we like all I barely played it. Yeah. Uh, I want to be interested, yeah. but yeah, man, the core the core gameplay of SF5 is not. Well, that's what turned you off, like, even after, like, the beta, we loved it. Hey, Marcus, thank you, dude. Like, the beta, we were all in, you know what yeah. I mean? And then after that, we were like, what happened? It grew old very fast. And some people like it because it isn't insane. Like, it is the most, like, of all the fighting yep. games out there, it's the most, like, simple to Me, understand. personally, I, I like it for the simplicity. Is that fucking head? Just get off the thing and shoot it. Or slash it with your sword, man. Yeah, I like the photo simplicity. It brought me back to original Street Fighter. But then they low tiered the fuck out of my main, and now I'm like frustrated. And really, even when I was younger, I always liked the Marvel vs. games because they were crazy. Yeah, you know? they're over and I didn't the top. have to worry about doing double motions, and I could just do motion with two buttons for super. I love that. That's cool. That I love cool. that way more. I wish the Street Fighter 2 soundtrack on Street Fighter 5 was free. No, dude! Everything on Street Fighter 5 that is, like, kind of neat is gonna cost you money, except for characters and some of their costumes. Hold up, they actually charge you for that shit? Fuck, of course it's how they make all their money on Street Fighter 5. There's a shit. There's a fuckload of DLC in that game, dude. That is dog shit. And all those stages, they all cost. Don't think. The stages cost the money. The stages, yeah. I actually like Cammy stage. Cammy stage looks sure, great. Sure, no, yeah. it does look great. Yeah. But all those stages cost, like, money. Like, I don't work. think you can you can't get that shit through fight money, right, chat room? Uh, you, the yeah, you can. Stuff? Yeah, the stages, yeah, you can, you can. But it's it's very difficult to get those. But uh, getting fight money has actually become kind of difficult now because there's only so much you can get. Uh, I mean, five thousand every time you do like some you know special uh, uh like event. a little yeah a little. You have to like wait for the special event weekly thing. Yeah, yeah, and, and the thing is that the event isn't that bad. It's oh, like, you can, but they're expensive with fight money. Yeah. So is is that like the fight money meta right now? Is that so many things in Street Fighter V, and Valve the Great, thank you, dude, hey. are costing fight money, and that fight money is difficult to come by. Is that kind of what's happening? Because you've already, like, beaten all the story mode. Yeah, yeah. Basic I mean, like, arcade mode things. You've already done challenges and stuff that only gives you so much. It gives you a lot, though. Like, a lot of the challenges, especially when a new character comes out, you complete the challenges and yeah. complete the story. You, you can get, get a bit. lot. But outside of that, yeah, you, you, um, the rest is just, oh, you play online. And you do certain things like play casual. Because I don't play think lobby. you actually get a lot of fight money from playing matches. Uh, you have to do challenges and shit. Yeah, you right? do the challenges. Like, I mean, it, it shows you in the beginning. Like, all the challenges are there. You just complete it within the week, and then uh, you get like a certain amount of cash. Yeah. And you just so just by like playing, you don't get like fifty fight money for playing an online match. No, because you've already done it. Gotcha. So it's only doing brand new things. Okay. Yeah. That's what I figured. I figured, like, they're going to get you over time. Yeah. Like, at the beginning, they're yeah. not going to make a lot of money. But over time, if you keep playing Street Fighter V, eventually fight money is going to be kind of hard to get because you've already gotten all the fight money it's, you can it's, it's a business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then they're going to make their money through DLC. Right. Yeah. I mean... So you can keep just doing the weekly challenges. You can wait for characters to eventually get those stages. But if you actually want them now, you got to buy them. I I, I I respect it only it's because mobile, it's a mobile thing. Right, I respect it because it's all cosmetic. There's nothing there that really changes the way the game is played. So no, not at all, not at all. It's all cosmetic. Yeah, like, it's it's, all but right. it, that is the same thing as loot boxes. Yeah. Like, so it's I, all it's all cosmetic, and that's like kind of the the argument against. It. And I, I'm okay with that. I, I think it's a cool thing. Make so the character 30, look cool. Thirty to seventy thousand fight money per stage, and a hundred fight hundred thousand fight money per character, which is nice. It's I mean, I, 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 but I don't know how much fight money you get for doing like um, missions. And if shit. you do a special, like the, the highest you can really get off a, a special mission is five thousand. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! So you'd have to do like you have to like wait a wait a week to get five thousand. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ! You you usually get around a hundred. Well, that's how they're making their money. Yeah. Like they know you can't get access to this fight money, much less want to do all the shit for it. So they're just gonna charge you for it. Yeah. And you know what? That's that is. I hope Marvel Infinite takes that fucking business model. Like, I mean, that's shit I do. I don't feel it's a paywall. I mean, they, you do. I mean, if you really don't want to pay for something and you really want that particular thing, save up for it. Plain and simple. And that's the idea: is that you just have to. It, that is, that is free to play design. 
that is free to play by design. You can't get it now. You just have to wait till we give you access to earn the things to eventually get it. And you know what fucks people? Is when they do a special event for like, let's say Halloween, and you only have a month to get it. Yeah. And you, yeah. <laughs> if you don't get it in that but time aren't like, frame. Aren't like Halloween costumes, don't you have to buy those? Uh, Deep Star, thank you, man. Yeah. But yeah, some stuff is real money only. Like, aren't like Halloween costumes chat room? Aren't those like, don't you have to just actually buy them? I, I, I don't know about the Halloween stuff. Oh man, douchebag McGee. Yeah, so yeah. They, yeah, like, okay, yeah, holiday okay. costumes and stuff related to that yeah. actually cost real money. Which is unfortunate. That makes sense. I mean, that makes sense. That's what they did with Street Fighter 4 forever. AKA well. Overwatch. Well,. Uh, at least you can go back to Overwatch and 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 I can buy like some of the. And old... the, the thing is, I don't even think that that's specifically a bad like model. Uh, like just like the pay only. Uh, not not even just pay only. Just like if we were we're making costumes and stuff for characters extra, and we work hard to support yeah. the future of the game. Here's some extra stuff, and we'll just keep making and adding characters that you can either choose to buy or save up your fight money to get. Yeah. Like I don't I don't I don't exactly disagree with the fight money system that Street Fighter Five has. Yeah. If it, and if it results in a game that is supported over time, which SF5 has been, and it's getting a third season most likely in an arcade version, then I think that's okay. Like the, I agree! Marvel Infinite is in a situation where everything's just gonna cost money. Yeah. Everything. Everything they're adding post launch is just gonna be to narrow. This is why the game was released so quickly. You're gonna die soon! Thank you, dude. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna die soon. That's pretty much the problem with Marvel Infinite. It's gonna die soon. Like, if, if, it, if you think it's bad in SF5, it's like, it is way worse in Marvel Infinite because you have to buy everything. Like, well, the same could be said about uh, Injustice 2. Injustice 2, you have to buy the stuff if you want to compete in uh, fucking uh, casuals you know, and, and regular matches because these things change the gameplay of how your character performs. You have an option, though. You can turn that shit off. Well, now you can. Before, like, sometimes the guy, if the other guy didn't want to turn it off, you were stuck having to play that guy, uh, and his shitty, uh, uh, his shitty fucking, uh, DLC shit that he got from the loot boxes, and it was like, well, no. I don't want to play you when you're overpowered. 